We're going into Barnes and Noble and I'm so excited. There she is in all her glory. And it's a really pretty day, even though it was like raining really hard earlier. You can see it in the sky. So buy one, get one half. Which is really cool. I love this book. This is blue. Hi, it's voiceover me. So the audio kind of cuts in and out for a little bit because Barnes and Noble had music playing really loudly and I didn't want to get copyrighted so I cut the music off and only put the volume on when I was talking so that's why the audio is like in and out but that's only for the first few clips the rest of this video will be voiceover so just hang on for a little bit This, which I already have, but there's a sale. More. Read that, didn't enjoy it. I can't read. After browsing all the tables, I didn't find anything too interesting, so I went to the fiction like area. Um, and I just browsed around. I feel like with Barnes and Noble, everything is like facing forward. So it's really easy to look. I don't really have to pull anything. So with the camera, I just kind of like show you like glancing wise. So that's why I felt like I moved a little fast like this because that's how I see it when I'm in the store. But now that I'm editing, I know for next time. I read one book by this author and I really want to read more and I think I want to try reading this book but I'm not sure so if you read it let me know your thoughts. And this book just came out recently I think like somewhere in October so I was really excited to see it at Barnes & Noble because I almost ordered it on Amazon and you know it's serious when you start sitting on the ground like me to look at a book so I like read the back and now I'm starting to like flip through I want to read like the first page to get like a feel um, so did I get it did I not you'll have to see my haul next video um, now I'm checking out the Spicy Talk book and 
it's always a little awkward filming at this table. But here's a really funny story. One time I asked the employees, like when Terms and Condition first came out, I asked them if they had it in the store and they were searching it up online and they were like, oh no, we actually don't carry this in store. This was like way before they did and way before it was like Bloom Books like bought it and it was like self-published and they were like, we have it online though so you can order it and i was like oh, okay i just wanted to see if it was in store and they were like yeah no but we have tons of other books like that at the spicy talk table you should definitely check it out and i was like mm, okay anyways twisted hate love it i think every like bookstore needs to expand their romance aisle or like case because that was it for barnes and nobles like they had their spicy book table and then this like two shelf thing of like romance books so like when i showed you all the books of like your typical contemporary romance and then this like western romance this little side shelf of like pride books and then on the other side would be like western romance and like paranormal romance and that's it like i need more let's judge the book talk table so i've read or i have this book and i read part of it i just need to finish it it was a rm in bts recommended i have that book the house of krill and sea haven't read it i need to read the rest of the Sa shatter me series i just need to do that this book i want to read it but i haven't um because i think the trigger warnings are a little intense and i don't think i'm ready for it this book is new it's really thick i want to read from this author i feel like they write a lot of disney stuff or like disney villains i might be wrong but it sounds good and then this is not my favorite book two stars but a lot of people love it Yeah, I saw like the um online on yes. TikTok that there's like pictures inside. Yeah. It's so cute. It's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> There are so many new fiction books according to the shelf that I have like never heard of so I think there's like so much like value going into a bookstore and seeing books for the first time because if you get like all your recs from book talk then it's like a certain like group of books that are only pushed like out of the blue that looks so good but I've never heard of it long story short I think I've actually saw this at my library but I need to check it out because it looks really cute and I think that one's a YA actually so it might be like a really sweet story um, to fly through. And here's me taking a little break mid book shopping i got a almond pretzel from auntie Anne's, which is i used to say auntie aunts and i still do i only said auntie Anne's for the video and a blue raspberry lemonade also has anyone read spy x family or watched the anime i've only read the first three mangas and i don't watch the anime but my friend does and i'm like kind of bored with the manga so that's why i haven't finished it
Now at this point, I feel like I've seen everything and my last thing is like going through the romance like once again. Also, I did not realize like how thin this novella is. I think it's like 60 pages and I can't believe it's like $16. That's more expensive than like some YA like actual 300 page books are, which shocked me. But my thing is like going through the romance aisle one more time just in case. And I think I found myself in the fiction somehow, but as I was going through this aisle, I found a lot of books that I've found thrifting before. So that's why sometimes like buying new books is hard because I'm like, I saw that at thrift once, I saw that at Goodwill once. So sometimes it gets kind of like, ooh, I could save a little bit more money. This weather, um, sorry the camera's tilted, I literally don't, oh I guess there is a way, um, the weather is making me super sleepy and tired, so I think I'm gonna go home and take a nap, maybe eat my Subway leftovers, finish, um, seven days in June, oh there's so many windshield wipers going on, um, seven days in June and post my little review. Thanks y'all for watching this little vlog and catch you on the next side. Catch you on the flip side is what I usually say.